Do you want to use YouTube to grow your business and connect with more people, but you're not sure how to get started or what you might be doing wrong on your current channel? Stick around because in this video, I'm going to show you how you can write a script for your YouTube videos to make sure you're connecting and growing your business. Hi, I'm Trina and I started this channel to help creative entrepreneurs like you get on YouTube to grow your business. Now, if you are new here, just make sure you click that subscribe button down below or hit that bell icon because that's going to notify you every single time I upload a new video to help you. Now let's talk about scripting YouTube videos. Should you script them? Should you read a teleprompter? How does this all work? So here's the thing. If you script your videos, you are able to focus on the specific content you want to share. If you don't have a script, you can kind of go aimlessly and it's not going to connect with your audience. If you take a few minutes to really map out your content and know how you want to deliver it, it does better on YouTube. People expect a certain kind of content here on YouTube. There's a format that you wanna follow that if you do follow it, you're going to be able to connect to more people, which will in return grow your business and pretty much your income, right? So here's the format you wanna focus on. First is the hook, second is the branded intro, Spoiler alert, I don't have one. Third is your personal intro. Fourth is the content. Fifth is the call to action. So in your hook. Make way for the hook, hook, for the hook, hook. It really only needs to be 15 seconds long. It's gotta be really quick, but it's gotta grab the viewer's attention. So is there an alarming statistic that you wanna share? Or is it something that can really get them to wanna keep watching? So in my hook, I said, do you want to grow your business on YouTube? Something like that. Do you want to use YouTube to grow your business and connect with more people? And it probably got you excited because you would not be this far if it did not hook you. So think about that as you're scripting your video. That's the biggest thing that I really focus on when crafting my script is that hook. That's where I really focus word for word what I want to say. Next in your script or your show format is your branded intro. So this is where you see the music and the logos and all of that fancy stuff. But this only needs to be three to five seconds long. Any longer than that, you're gonna lose viewers, especially people who are new to you who are just finding your content. They don't really give a crap about the music and the pretty little images you have of yourself. You've got to get rolling to the content as quick as possible. So if you are making a branded intro, make sure it's three to five seconds long. I don't have one yet, but I'm currently working on one and it's only gonna be three to five seconds that's it. Okay, after that three to five seconds, then it's time to introduce yourself, right? So at the beginning of this video, you saw that I said my name is Trina, who I help, why I created this channel. So really providing your value proposition. So people know why they should even care that they're watching you. They need to know you're going to help them because they don't care about you, unfortunately. Next in your script is your content. Now, if you're creating discoverable content, so that's content that you want new people to find you with, you really want to structure your content so it flows step by step or tip to tip, right? So three steps or five tips or seven ways. What is an easy way to flow your content so that it's easy to understand and take in? These really gotta be kind of to the point. Like I said, people are here to solve a pain point and you've got to get through those so that they know that you've got the information that they need. Now here's the secret to the end of your video. Here on YouTube, you can add end screens that direct people to subscribe to your channel or to watch more of your content. And that's ultimately what you want people to do. Once you get them on your channel or on a video, you want to keep them watching your content. So do not signal at the end of your video that this video is wrapping up. End screens can be put into your video 20 seconds from the end of your video back to 20 seconds. So what I want you to do is keep delivering content. The end of your video should be about five seconds where you say, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. You wanna save that for the last five seconds. So wrap up your content and remember as you're wrapping it up that you maybe wanna shift to the side so that you can add a playlist or a subscribe button here, okay? And then obviously you want to tell people, you know, make sure you click the subscribe button that's on your screen right now or watch the playlist that I have suggested for you on the screen. 
So now I'm gonna show you how I wrap up my videos. My question of the day for you is, do you write scripts for your videos? Let me know down in the comments below. If you have not done so already, make sure you click the subscribe button. And if you need more tips on how to write a video script, make sure you click the playlist that's on your screen right now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.